Hi. What do you see the specific needs for the energy sector? Okay. The energy industry is hugely complex. If you printed out the regulations that energy parties needed to adhere to, it would weigh 50 kilograms um, and it equates to about 100,000 pages. So reg tech gives the opportunity to demystify and actually give participants the chance to conform to the regulations. It expedites change in a quicker way as well. The government and the regulator at the moment are reviewing the regulatory framework in the sense that it was designed 20 years ago. It wasn't 50 kilograms at that stage and it's just grown and grown and grown. So what we're finding in the adoption of regulatory technology in the smart energy code that we run is that decisions can be made quicker, uh, understanding of your requ uh, compliance requirements can be quicker and actually you can face more time looking at positive future change which is incredibly important in the energy industry because of a decarbonisation challenge rather than working out how to be compliant or going through process in a very bureaucratic way. So there's great opportunities in energy. New decade. So um, the term coined for the 2020s in the energy industry is it's the decade of decarbonisation. We've got a climate crisis that we have to try our best to um, avoid. We have to be proactive. We have to bring in new regulation to expedite that change. But the governance framework needs to be in place to enable our targets to be met. So it just exemplifies the need for regulatory technology more so than ever. And if we can get that foundation right, if we can get people understanding their existing requirements, we can bring new requirements in um, and make sure that they're governed in the most fit and proper way. And then the last question, what do you think the main barriers to, to energy to our adopting? So in the energy industry, we've, we've, we've started the adoption of RegTech. Um, I mentioned the Smart Energy Code. It's now been fully digitalized. It's used as a collaborative tool. We're managing change through it. We're actually managing risk through it as well. But that's one small part of the energy industry. And of course, when you introduce something new, there's always going to be some reluctance or resistance to change. I think one of the barriers genuinely for energy companies is that if the policies are managed in a certain way and you have to unpick those policies, whatever you do to instigate that change is going to be quite challenging to implement. I think you need trust, especially around regulatory compliance. The technology has to be trusted. They have to know that there's going to be a return on investment there. They have to know that they've got the right technology when you've got competing technology providers offering similar types of services. So I think the, the barriers are similar across all sectors, um, but that's not to say that they can't be overcome with proof of concepts, with positive reputational benefits, and that return on investment being uh, justified over the course of time.